Hello everybody and welcome to a new series for my channel of Prison Architect. Now I have been waiting for ages for this one because I've been waiting for um, enough series to sort of clear off my channel and to be finished before I could start this one and I've been really really looking forward to it because I love playing this game. So we are going to create ourselves a new prison and we are going to have female prisoners because I, I not that I think that they're any easier to look after, but they're probably actually more of a challenge, if anything. And we are going to have... Now, we've got a few different wardens we can have. We can have a warden of the lobbyist that halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly or fighters, which sounds quite good to me. We can have Rita, who halves the likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless, and prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly, which sounds quite good too. We can have J.W. Periwinkle, who's really good at uncovering tunnels. We can have the Pacifier, who reduces the overall temperature of my prison, making my inmates, inmates less likely to cause trouble. So even if you have the troublemakers, they're less likely to flare up. And Safara Aknova, who... I don't really like that. She, she gets a small cut of the resale value of contraband and finds the prisoners. So she's like nicking their stuff and then fining them for the privilege, and then she sells it on and takes a cut. I, I, I don't like her very much. I think I'm going to go with the pacifier. And then we've got um, a few different options. We can choose a small, a medium, or a large prison. And I think a large one, because I think that that's going to be really cool to have loads of land to build on. I like that in games. I like to have like massive amounts of land in things like SimCity and all that sort of thing. So I think a large prison will be good. Now, we've got the Fog of War, which I'm going to keep on because that means that if I don't have a guard or a CCTV camera in a place, then I will not be able to see. I can also generate forests, which is fine. Excuse me, throat going. I can also generate lakes. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because it says it's experimental. Generate buildings, not so fussed about that. I don't need buildings to start off with. I'd rather plan everything myself. I'm quite meticulous at that, you will see. Failure conditions, I think, are very important. Because if you can't fail, then what's the point in even playing? Gangs, I'm going to keep off for now because I am a new player. Um, I've had one go through. I went through all the tutorial missions on my own and I did my first little prison and it went quite well. But I still don't think I'm ready to have random gangs showing up and things like that. I don't think I really want random events either. And I don't want to have to be worrying about heating at the moment. Those would all be good for like a second run through. Just to make things a little bit more difficult for myself. If I find it too easy. Which I probably won't. <laughs> and unlimited funds is basically a sandbox mode. That I'm not that interested in. So that's what, that's it. I'm quite happy with the, the suggestions they've given me for... Um, what I want turned on and off there. I've got my pacifier warden and I've got my uh, female prisoners. So let's go. So to start with, we're going to have some builders coming in. I've got a very, very nice big map here. I like that quite a lot. So first thing we're going to do is pause it and we're just going to go straight into the planning mode and I'm going to plan a little bit of my prison. So we're going to go with three wide pathways throughout the whole prison. But let's take it out to about there. And that's just going to bisect everything. And section it into little bits. And then I'm going to build a wall. Just around this whole section here. All the way to the back. Like that. And this section will just be my initial sort of min sec area and then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to section off the delivery area and just allow that free access to the road so that's going to be my, my starting area there excuse me drinking all the time I'm getting a bit of a sore throat and it's not helping me very much um, so I know I know I normally don't drink during recording sessions which I probably should actually do honestly but if you hear drinking sounds I'm very sorry 
Okay, so what I need first is a um, an office for my warden, pacifier warden. I don't know if he has more wages than like a normal warden. It didn't actually say what the the wages would be like. So in my planning tool, I'm going to need to make a little room. And now I am going to need quite a lot of um, three wide pathway. And it needs to be six by six. One, two, three, four, which will leave me four by four inside the room. Another five there. Five there. One, two, three, four. So the idea with this is that I'm going to push it back. Oh, is that only too wide? Oh, I've done the whole thing one too far. Hang on. Fix that before it becomes a problem. This is what the planning tool is good for. Catching your mistakes before they happen. There, right, so we've got a three wide pathway. Ah, how have I just done that two wide the whole, the whole way along? How annoying. Okay, that's more like it. So actually I'm going to put plot in the pathways around here. That way we're not going to make any more mistakes with how wide they're meant to be. So we've got three wide pathway on the inside there. And then I'm going to actually leave some space for grass. And then we're going to make them like a canteen as well. The main, um, the main prison block. So pathways up here. Probably a bit of a waste of space, but I think that they're quite pretty. I like the pathways. I quite like leaving like a little bit of room for grass and things like that as well. I think the prisoners like it. Not that anyone cares what the prisoners like. They are in here for a reason. No, I don't. I don't like to. I like to give them a good, a good life in here. Honestly, they'll have three wide corridors in the prison. I think that that helps the guards to be able to move around and and all that sort of thing. So that's going to be the start of the main prison. Okay. And then we're going to have another pathway. No, oh, that's a wall, not a pathway. Ah. Okay, pathway. Up here. Then one more little space and then we're going to maybe make like a canteen. Do you know, I'm really liking this idea of having like one strip of grass around. So I'm actually going to make this. If I had wall selected, that would be really good. I'm going to push that back one. Because I can, because we're in planning mode. I'm actually going to push the whole thing over by one as well. And then I can push the path over by one as well. Uh, yeah. This is why it's good to plan. You can make things the way you want and and decide different things. That was four wide anyway for some bizarre reason. I don't know if I did that recently. So there, we've got like the, the one wide grass tile around there. And then I'm going to pull this up one. The start of the prison. That's just to tell me where the prison's starting. It's not really a particularly particular plan yet. So then this area here. Hmm. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to need quite a large area for a holding cell. I'm going to put the holding cell right by the gate. I've just decided. I've just decided this. So what I'm going to do is make this the holding cell. I don't even know how big I'm going to make it at the moment. And then I'm just going to put like a little path in between because I love my paths. And then start the offices further back, like up here. That way. Because it doesn't matter where the offices are too much because all that's going to happen is the, the warden will just stand in there all day. But I think it does kind of matter where 
Things like that are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll be good for double wide jail. Four. Then I'll have one, two, three, four. Do you know what they? Do you know what's going to really bug me is the fact that the doors are never going to be centered if I have them that big. So I'm actually going to give them. <laughs> this is ridiculous, I know. I'm going to give them a couple more flicks of space there just to make it so that the doors will be more centered. I hope you don't hate me too much for the the way I am with this, but it's um I just feel that I will I'll never be able to ch well I will be able to change it, but it's gonna be so much harder to change it if I don't plan it right first. So it's good because you guys get to see what I what I intend as well, which is quite nice. So the idea now will be that there'll be a wall there, and if I put an object in, I'll show you where the door's going to be. See how much nicer does that look? So much nicer. And then we're going to have like a double wide jail door. So one, two, three, four on that side. One, two, three, four, five on that side. Not a lot we can do about that unless we put it around this side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that'll work better. So that'll be a more centralized um, doorway at that point. I'll put it around the side there. I could even put it on that side. That side would actually be more practical. Because it would be nearer to things like the canteen. Put walls back in there then. So that's the start. So we've got the starts of the offices. We've got the holding cell. Which leaves us this much room for our canteen and kitchen. Which we can make as wide as we like really. I want, the, I want it slightly wider than the... Um, Be that wide? About that wide? I want it slightly wider than the holding cell. I don't need to, need it necessarily to be in line with that. And then we can have the kitchen and the canteen all sort of segregated off from each other. I think that that way is better. The, ki the kitchen generally needs to be a little bit smaller than the canteen. And then object-wise, we can then put doors in again. So, oh no, I need to put it in as a planning object. So a door there. And a door there. That's quite nice. I like that. I think that's a good little prison start, really. So let's go and start making foundations. Ah, do you know one thing I haven't made yet? Which I'm going to need to make. I'm planning quickly is a utility room. We just get this pathway extended. This pathway extended. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put in the. Um, uh, no, I'm going to plan an object. That's what I'll do. I'll plan an object, and the object will be. No, I won't. I'll do a wall. No, I won't. I'll do a path. The path there, and then I know that that's the bounding of the canteen and how much room I've got for a utility room. So the walls on the utility room. So if we make it like that. And then we can see what, how big a, right, so I know that I need a certain amount of room. Yeah, I need a certain amount of room for electricity and I need a certain amount of room for water. So I don't have, that's not the right amount of room for electricity because I need it to be one one wider than it is. But I wonder if I could um, alternate the electricity and water or something like that. Because what, what you need is it for it to be then surrounded, if I do this with a wall, you need it almost to be surrounded with um, these like generators like that. So you're not going to be able to do that with this one. Of all of that. So 
So, if I had... Um, but then I don't think I'm going to need as much room as I've got there. I don't think I'm going to need tons and tons of generators. So I, what I could probably do is plan for maybe two or three and then have a, a cleaning room or something on the side. That way I can make it exactly fit what I need. So the idea would be one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. To leave one around the one there. So I'm going to have a one, two, three. Great. Um, so it doesn't need to be as wide as it is either. Can be probably. But I would say that like I would want the water pumps just aesthetically to be like that far apart as well. And I know that they don't need to be, but they're gonna look rubbish otherwise. If I cancel all of that. And I start it here. Three by three. Three by three. No. Leave two gap. Three by three. Two gap. Three by three. Leave two gap there. Three by three. Three by three. Three by three. And I know I've got plenty of room for whatever I need to do in there. I'll probably put the water pumps in the front. That way you've got a bit of room to walk around. And I'll put a wall in by get rid of this wall up here so that's as far as that needs to go and the offices hopefully we can get the offices sort of in line with it but I, I don't know we'll be able to do something there even if we need to put some communal room at the top or something like that instead so then put a wall down there and that can be like a storage cupboard or something and that will look quite nice and then I can put an object there which will be like a yeah that's fine but I don't need to do the storage cupboard as a foundation. I would just need to do the room. I'll need to do the holding cell as a foundation. Um, I'll probably just do that as a foundation. And what I will then do is make that into a temporary canteen. Put that as a wall or something there. So I'll make a little canteen. Then I'll remove that wall. Make this whole thing into an expanded kitchen. And make that into the canteen after a while. Because we're not going to have that many prisoners to start with. So I think that's quite a good idea. Okay, so I'm ready for the foundations now, and hopefully this is all going to pan out as I think it is. So the first thing I need to do, I decided I'm going to do brick foundations. I don't think brick or concrete make much of a difference, honestly. Just foundations is foundations. So first thing is the holding cell. Second thing is... Now make it 7x7 seven seven or 6x7. Six not sure. I need to plan that better, don't I? Right, let's plan that first. We'll properly plan in the offices so that we know how big they're allowed to be. So, one, two, three, four is the minimum. Doing that wrong, that's not the minimum. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So I could make, afford to make them all like, some of them one bigger at least. One, two, three, four, five. That would work quite nicely because then we would have six offices in an office block there. And that's going to look quite pretty. Okay, I like that idea. Also, I think the doors should maybe be around this side so that the doors are all along the sides. I think that would look better as well. So the walls in there, and the objects for the doors in this side. There. So we've got loads of nice offices that we can put our staff into. But for now, we need one office. So one office is all we will build. Boop. One canteen space. And this part of the utility room. So that is all we need for our prison to start with. But I've got plans for expansion. So it, it looks a bit odd at the moment. It's just going to look like all these random buildings in random places. But it's all part of my cunning plan. So we'll go and get the um, builders started on that. So I'm going to make it quite fast now. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to start planning all the objects. So for the prison, um, I don't, oh yeah, I have metal detectors. So for the canteen, sorry, I'm going to just have a metal detection detector there. Oh, I think they might need to build it before I can start putting doors in. Apparently. What a pain. Staff door here. Staff door here. Now it's uh, R to rotate. And a jail door. Large jail door. Round this side. Love that a little bit okay and then we're gonna need to start on the utilities good the utility room is literally just finished so I'm gonna put a power station in here and a water pump station in here uh, I'm gonna have to wait for them to actually finish it before I can connect up the power though so I'll just run the power through all the walls and around the base generally so off they go, they've made all these little areas. So one thing I can do though, is I can put some items into, well I can designate the rooms actually, and then it'll tell me what items I need. So firstly, I have an office. It's five by five, so it's good. I've made a four by four and it's five by five. So I need an office, desk, chair, and filing cabinets. I'm gonna make this one into a holding cell. It's nice and big, so it's um, enclosed, it's indoors, it's 5 for 5 so it just needs a toilet and a bench to make it right. Um, the little canteen area hasn't quite been finished yet, that's fine. So we will work on the office first then. I'll put some items into it and then I can designate the uh, utility area. I don't know actually whether you do designate it, I can't remember. But you need a filing cabinet, a chair and a desk. So I'll put the desk in just... I want it sort of facing this way, even though the door's to the side. So I'll put the desk in like here, so people can come in and visit the, the warden and they can sit that side of the desk if they want to. I'm going to need an office chair. Pop there. And then I'm going to need to give them a filing cabinet. Now what I can do is make a really nice like uh, flooring and things like that but first I'm going to need things like uh, electricity and things before I think about flooring now apparently that's not that doesn't count as an entrance because it doesn't oh probably because it doesn't have any power to it at the moment so we're going to need to put like a secondary door in I think that's annoying I'll put a door here which I will plan to dismantle very soon. Although actually maybe as soon as I've got power it might count as a door, but I don't know, I just want them to finish it and then I can mess around with it however I want. Ah right, so they maybe have to have a doorway before you can actually put the metal, ah, what a pain. Never mind, we'll just keep working on everything. I'll sort that, sort that little hiccup out later. I haven't done much playing around with metal detectors, so I didn't really know how they worked. So, the nice thing with having everything in line is that all of the power conduits go in line. The walls. It makes it all very pretty and nice to look at. Very nice. And then, we're going to need some plumbing as well. So let's have some large pipes. through here and we'll just run them the same place as the electric all back through the walls probably don't need it going to the office uh, mostly through the canteen and the prisoner areas because they're going to need a toilet and the canteen is going to need sinks and things like that I think there's going to need to be a wall tin I think that's under objects actually. Oh no. Materials? Yeah, there's a brick wall there, which I can pop in there. Then I can put a door in. Probably be a staff door for now, but uh, eventually, hopefully, some prisoners will work in the canteen. But that whole wall's going to go eventually anyway. 
So, toilet. Um, how long till we've got prisoners? Are they actually here even? How long till the prisoners come? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long until the prisoners come. Let's read the CEO's letter. 11 hours and 4 minutes. There we go. We'll get 8 prisoners. That's fine. And I can tell them to take all available. I can tell them to fill capacity. I can tell them a certain number per day. So I'll take that initial intake and then I'm going to change it to maybe like one or two a day while I'm just getting things built. When I can then accommodate the eight prisoners, I'll put it up to a little bit more. So let's get them a bench and stuff in here and a toilet. I might put the toilet in like a little walled off area just for privacy. I need a toilet. Maybe a couple of toilets actually because there might be quite a few people in here, you know. Gotta love that I, I think about prisoners' privacy. I bet, like, in real prisoners, no one cares. They can at least have, like, a dividing wall there. So that people can't completely see them going to the toilet. No doors, obviously. I mean, you'd be able to have guard routes and stuff in there, but at least it keeps it away from. Uh, People trying to sleep and eat and whatever. Not that they should be eating the holding cell, they should really be going to the canteen. Um, and we'll put like a bench in, probably maybe around there. And then they can maybe like have a TV or something. Just keep them occupied while they're in there. Okay, that's going to be about, about as much comfort as I'll give them. Maybe give them a bookcase or something later on as well. Might even give them a sofa if I feel nice, but I don't. I'm not made of money right now, so just get everybody uh, building the prison. I don't know why I didn't have them just working while I was doing all of that, but I am a bit worried that the prisoners wouldn't have anywhere to go. So I wanted just to get the toilets and stuff started. Now the toilet is saying it doesn't have any water. I think what I need to do there is to put a small pipe running off of this large pipe under the toilet. So it just connects it all up. Probably overdone that large pipe to be honest. Uh, I don't think the large pipe was too much so. Okay so the next thing I'm going to work on is the canteen area. Oh no I'm going to actually hire staff. I'm going to put a warden in now. Hello warden. But I don't want there to be not enough uh, guards or anything like that so then we're gonna need to have some guards so I'll just hire three for now we've only got eight prisoners and I think three will be fine for now then we're gonna need some objects for the canteen area so I'm gonna de designate the rooms again so I'm gonna make now did it have a, like a utility area No, it doesn't. It's got a canteen and a kitchen though, so the canteen is this one. For now, anyway, it's going to expand. And then the kitchen will be this one. And then... Um, there's certain things we need in here. So we need cookers, fridges and sinks. So cookers need electricity, sinks will need the, the plumbing. So I can put the sinks down this side maybe, the cookers down this side. And I might put the fridges actually in the middle. And then this is going to need some serving tables, tables and benches. So sinks. Sinks are actually quite massive for this tiny little room. And then the right way around. We can have two. And then we can have some fridges. I'm actually just gonna put two fridges in. I can maybe put three actually, three fridges and then cookers along the top. And uh, we could just put a bin in there. That's quite a nice little kitchen. And again I think we've got the same problem with the plumbing. I found this in my, my first playthrough so we kind of sometimes need to just 
pull the plumbing out underneath the object. Um, and then I'm also going to need to extend the electrical cables just around the walls here. And that's the kitchen done. So now let's have a look at the canteen. Do we have prisoners yet? Not yet. Still got a little bit of time. I'm really, 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 really going to need to do um, the floors and things. Now, have we overloaded the, the power? We have, I think. Put too much in there. So what we need to do with that is to give it a little bit of extra juice and we can do that with capacitors. I'm hoping that one will do the job because we can't afford much more. I need the prisoners to come so I've got enough room, uh, enough money to finish off there. They're arriving in an hour and we have no power in the base. No power in the prison. Bring me my capacitor now. That should be enough to do it. So I need to switch on the power station again. But it's very close to its limit. That was from decking out the kitchen and completely blew the power. And the water pump doesn't have any power to it. Oh, okay, that's good. Good to know. But let me just go and sort that particular little problem out. So we just need some electrical cable around here. It always seems to be the wrong direction for me. I, I really need to like put these things in from the sort of right hand side to start with, but I always put them into the left and I always end up like putting cable all the way around. It's kind of annoying. Never mind. They're off to sort that one out. My little worker dudes. And that was enough to bring down the power again. So we're going to need to uh, put the second capacitor in and that should be enough to keep us going. Please, please be enough to keep us going. Someone come across with that capacitor please. Hurry up. We don't have any time to waste. The prisoners are here. They are literally all here. In the room wondering why there's no light. Wondering why they can't watch their TV. Right, we're good now. We're stable. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do now is to put some like roots in for the guards because the guards actually, if I can. Right, okay. I think what we need to do is some um, bureaucracy. So I have a warden. I have a chief of security who gives access to the deployment screen and will give you a real time report of danger level. So I think that's what I'm going to need to be allowed to actually give them like routes that they've got to go in. So we'll just do that first because we can't see our prisoners and that's a really bad thing. These guys are just like wandering around in the canteen being annoyed. Eventually it's going to be meal time and I'm going to need to feed all the prisoners. So um, we need to start decking this place out. So serving tables. What do we have there? Serving tables. They are very long. They will need to go down the sides. This is a bad canteen layout, I think. Then we're going to need tables and benches. Which can go down kind of the middle. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to need... I need to put the benches in as I'm going, because otherwise I do it wrong. Benches. Bench and a bench and a bench. And a bench. So we have enough room for about two tables. That'll last us for a while. That will last us a little while. They don't need a, a gap between them. I tested it. So we have absolutely no eyes anywhere. I really need deployment. I will be coming very soon. 
We also at the moment don't have any walls around the prison. Um, that's something that I really need to work on very, very soon. And at the moment the prisoners don't have a yard. Which is something I also need to work on. I'm thinking their yard might need to be up here actually. Or it could be across the way over here, but I, I would prefer to have it in their section. So I'll go back to the planning screen and I'm going to put pathways in along here. And that way I know where I can start to build. Because this whole um, wing is going to go right the way up. I'm going to need to give them some showers soon as well. Or well, they're going to be very, very unhappy. So there's reports here. Show me what my prisoners are, whether they're happy and things like that. Um, but their needs, I'm going to need a psychologist for. So hopefully, oh, I need to hire a chef as well. It's blocked. Why is that blocked? Oh, don't tell me. That the benches are in the way. You probably are. I have to dismantle them all. Ah! I didn't think about them being in the way of the door. I just thought of them being in the way of each other. We've got no janitors either. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to leave you on the cliffhanger of the canteen door being blocked. <gasps> and that's the end of the episode for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can see how, how things are going to go eventually. Got this little little plan going but at the moment we just got our prisoners in the holding cell they don't have any showers yet we've got a warden we don't have any janitors everything's pretty dirty don't have any gardeners don't have any anything <laughs> can't patrol route any of our, our guards hopefully that'll come in the next episode and we have like basically zero capacity for our prisoners <laughs> so um i am gonna like uh, reduce the intake until we can get a little bit more money in and, and get things going but we'll need to dismantle and move these uh, these benches luckily when you dismantle things they go into they seem to go into a little sort of uh, storeroom uh, they probably go back to the storage areas if there is any storage areas and uh, then you can just like use them again so what I might do is say what storage area just outside and it'll go in the storage room space but that is that in the storage area. Okay, you can store stuff there. So when I dismantle everything, that's where it's going to go. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please leave me a like. And if you would like to see how the prison goes, uh, then please subscribe to the channel and I can let you know when the new videos are out. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.